everyone, so today is going to be a tag video. I wasn't actually tagged in the video but I've seen a few people do it and I decided I wanted to have a go and do it myself. So it is the 7 deadly sins of beauty tag. I have all the questions down on my notebook but I will put them in the description box down below so you can see them as well if you would like to do it if you haven't done it already. It is a pretty old tag that's been around for a while but I didn't do it on my old channel and I wanted to do it on this one as I really wanted to have a go of it. So we're going to get started on the first question. So the first question is what is greed and it is what is your most inexpensive and expensive product? Um, my most, I've got them over here, my most inexpensive product is my Barry M nail varnish which is in the cracked nail effect and it's in the colour 314 um, nail effect that's all it says 113 I think and it's just like this sort of pink colour and it goes on top of your nails and it makes them all like cracked and stuff and I like the product I haven't used it very much um, but it was only I think it was only about two or three pounds I think it was or it could have been 1.99 I really don't remember um, but it is quite a cheap product that I would normally go for. Um, normally, now these days my cheapest products I tend to buy are like Topshop's makeup, which the nail varnish is still like ranges from five pound to six fifty, or it goes higher than that if you want a Louise Gray one. So yeah, this is like my most um, inexpensive product, and my most expensive product, which was recently in my mini beauty haul, which if you haven't seen it already, I'll pop it in. Um, a link in the description box and it is my Forever Marilyn um, MAC Beauty Powder. This was, like I said in the beauty haul video, this was my first ever MAC product and I absolutely love it. So the packaging's like that and you open it like so and as you can see I've used it because it's powder absolutely all over it and yeah it just kind of adds a little bit to your skin makes it very like a natural shimmer and to me personally it makes me feel really nice and um, yeah it makes me feel really like it's quite a confident product as well for me so that is question number one and yeah right. question number two is wrath and it is what products do you have a love-hate relationship with um, to me, I don't like have a lot of love-hate relationships with makeup, but one that I generally do, which I've been using this kind of product for, oh, on and off for about seven years. It started when I was about 13, and I was into all like having my nails painted, and I was like a very sort of like, I was in like a gothic stage at that time, and one thing at the point in time which I absolutely loved was black nail varnish which this is my one from Barry M which is just in the colour 47 black and I really um I don't know like some days I'll put it on and I'll feel like I'm ready to go out in it and stuff but sometimes it takes a lot of work to get black nail varnish on because sometimes you put it on and it's not very thick and I prefer it to be thick but not too thick and sometimes the too watery for me so black nail varnish I'm really really picky with um, I do have a black nail varnish which I do love and it's my one from Topshop which is called Cloak and Dagger. Um, I don't have it on me but I absolutely love it. It was about £5 and one coat does me fine and I was really happy to know that's all it needed. So that was Raph. Third question is gluttony and it's about what products, like what is like your most like delicious products. And I quite was looking forward to doing this question because I have I have two products that make me think they're really delicious because they smell really nice. And the first one is a foundation, which is Bourjois um, Foundation Healthy Mix, 16 hour perfectly glowing complexion and toned skin. The reason why I like this is because it smells really really fruity because it's got like fruit therapy radiance in, and it's like got a the smell of like apricot, melon, apple, and ginger, and it smells just amazing it smells it's it's 
I just I feel like I remember the smell from being really really little. It's in the colour number fifty one, um, which is in light vanilla. Um, and yeah, this product was about ten pounds. Um, so yeah, I think it does good for its money, and I absolutely love the product, and it just smells like absolutely amazing. And another one of my delicious products, which is a perfume, which I thought perfume should be included in this, considering it's all about beauty, and it is my Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. Um, I got this for Christmas, not last year, but the year before, and so it's coming up to like two years since I got it, and I've still got a little bit in, and um, I absolutely love the smell, it's just... It's a nice, like, sweet sort of floral scent, but it's very, like, it's very mature woman smell. But, like, a young woman, like, uh, to me, like, like, Chanel number no. five, to me, is more like a very, like, mature, um, not, like, elderly lady, but, like, in a, like, another generation higher, and I feel like that's more for, like, a really more high generation woman, where this is quite for, like, the young adult, like, going up to about your 30s or your 40s, I'd say, it's more for Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle, and I absolutely love it. I know it sounds weird, but whenever you go in the shower when you wear it, and uh, you wash yourself, you can smell it all over your bathroom, and it just, it smells amazing. Like, for another delicious product to me as well, which I haven't got any on me, but Lush's products are amazing. If you haven't ever been to Lush, get yourself there. People just show you, like, all sorts of ways that you can use the product and for sort of like so you can they show you how you do them and what you can do with them and the staff are always dead friendly and lush and the shop just smells like I can only be in there for so long because the smell of soap too much smell of soap makes me feel a bit irritated and get a bit of a headache but yeah that rant was over and now we're going to move to the next question number Number four is sloth, um, and it's a beauty product that I neglect due to laziness. It's not really, we, yeah, some days it is laziness, but some days I just think, well, I don't really feel like I want to put it on today. So, like, some days I'll go out and I'll have, you know, the whole lot. I'll have foundation, concealer, beauty powder, mascara, eyeliner, liquid eyeliner, lipstick, everything, blusher, everything will be on. But some days I just want to go out and just put, like, do a little bit of eyeliner and mascara and then a bit of lippy and not bother with doing the whole face thing. Um, but normally the one thing I definitely neglect out of um, laziness is foundation. This is a foundation that I have recently bought and again it should be in the beauty haul that I did which like I said at the beginning of the video I will link down below. And it's the River London BB Cream. To me it's quite good because it's 9 in 1 and it has foundation and concealer in it and it moisturises the skin and everything. They do recommend that if you have quite naturally dry skin and like your skin's quite dry, which I have quite dry skin, I've just knocked the microphone, um, to still moisturise. And personally I use simple moisturiser and that does it for me. And I just put a little bit of that on on a morning and let it dry, like sink, like soak in. And then I put this on and honestly it makes me feel like really like nice so it foundation is definitely something i neglect out of laziness but i am trying to sort that out and this is what this product is for i got it in light and um, they do have medium and i think they have dark but i'm not sure but i only saw light and medium when i was in and um, so this is definitely a product i'd recommend and i am going to start definitely using question number five is um pride which is your most confident product to me confidence in for me is feeling like you smell good and that you look good and personally to me I think perfume would be my number one confident um, product which I do have two to show you and I have a makeup product as well which I feel like I can't really go out without um, but the first perfume which makes which I absolutely love and it makes me feel so confident it's lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker um, it's a very nice feminine bottle and it's such like 
a really, really feminine smell. Like, there's no other way to describe it other than it's like extremely feminine, which, as you can see, I've used about half the bottle. <sighs> it just smells really mature floral, like, not as mature floral as like Chanel does, but it's still like a really nice product. Which I got this from Boots, which it was in the sale. Um, for I think it was 19.99 or 20 pounds, and I had a 10 pound gift card, so I only paid 10 pound for it, which was like pretty amazing. And I definitely like love this product. And um, it's a 50 ml bottle, and 50 ml you get your works out of it. My Coco Chanel um, was that's a 35 ml bottle, um, so I've used nearly all that because I told my mom just to get a smaller one for me. Um, but I'll probably save up and buy myself a bigger bottle. But this ad, a product I'm definitely going to keep rebuying because it just makes me feel like absolutely like confidence just goes way sky high when I wear like when I wear that and it takes a lot for me to be confident to go out and stuff because I don't always feel comfortable. But I feel like wearing uh, perfume makes me feel better. This product sort of looks like it's kind of running out of date, um, and it is in a bottle that it wasn't originally. And this was a French bottle I got from a vintage store for ten pounds. And in it is Kate Moss's Velvet Hour. But my top of my glass, like the top of the perfume bottle broke. So I bought this so I could still use the perfume. And you like tip it upside down and you put it on like that and just roll it on your neck. Oh, it smells amazing. Like I love Kate Moss perfume. I think it smells absolutely incredible. And Kate Moss is one of my like style icons, which is also a big like role model of mine. Um, so when I bought this, I just I feel like sometimes I know it sounds silly, but when I wear it, I just feel just literally as confident as her, and it's just absolutely incredible how it makes me feel. So, like I say, perfume is definitely a big favourite, and like when I wear Sarah, like Sarah Jessica Parker's fragrance, I pop it just I feel like just as confident as she is as well, which is quite a really like different feeling for me. And the makeup product for me that makes me feel. Uh, really like the most confident is my lipstick which this is the one I'm wearing at the moment which is Innocent from Topshop and to me um, it's just a really nice like natural lip colour and it just makes me feel just really really confident and I feel like that's something that I just feel like I can't really go to work without or I can't go on a nice meal without or I feel like I just sometimes like even if, if I don't have anything on my lips I feel really strange so even if I just get Vaseline or something on just anything but I feel like I have to go out and wear like something on my lip and that is definitely the number one product like lip product that makes me feel the most confident. Right number six is lust and it says um what do I find most attractive about the opposite sex which obviously for me it's a male. Um to be honest Brown eyes, brown hair, I feel quite attractive to to men. Um, I like a man that's quite like well groomed and stuff, and like really, the kind of looks after himself, which my boyfriend does, and he has brown hair and brown eyes, so that's awesome for me. And obviously, personality is quite a big deal for me as well. Um, and that's just generally what kind of a thing I would like actually kind of go for. Finally, number seven is envy, and it says, um, item like item ideas for gifts for myself. <sighs> um, for me personally, what I really like to get as a gift is beauty product wise. I like literally any makeup from Topshop, um, and I like Rimmel London stuff as well. And I'm really starting to really get into Max Factor and Maybelline New York. And I do like some Revlon products that I have as well. In theory, I would like as well. Oh, I would like as well maybe to have like a couple more Mac products as well, just to get me into really like really get into that. And um, perfume wise, I have asked for perfume for Christmas this year, and hopefully I shall get it. And it is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet, which is the brand new one I think that's come out, and it's just like a baby pink colour, and it's really really nice. And yeah, that's pretty much what my gift ideas would be for myself. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I am going to be doing the seven deadly sins tag for a uh, fashion products, which will be coming up probably within the next week or so. And um, yeah, so 
like I say, that's it for my beauty products. Like I say, on my lips is Innocent from Topshop. My rings, I have this pearl uh, ring, which is from Topshop, and my cat one, which is also from Topshop. My everyday bracelet, and my River Island watch, and my everyday diamond necklace from Kyle. And my everyday just studs, which I wear every day. Um, so, hope you guys liked it. Um, I tag anyone that hasn't done it yet. And I'll pop all the questions down below in the description box. And please keep subscribing and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!